I'm about to show you something very illegal. And I hope your ass better not tell this to DEA. Cheers. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm in love with the anamorphic lenses. For those who haven't seen our review of the Sidui 35mm anamorphic lens, I would highly recommend you to check it out because you guys already know that instead of talking bullshit behind the camera, we show you real world tests of us using that lens and the same will be for this Sidui 50mm anamorphic lens review. And yes, the intro sequence you just saw was almost entirely shot on the Sidui 50mm anamorphic lens except for the last 3 or 4 shots which were taken with the Sidui 35mm lens. Now, in my honest opinion, the 35 and 50mm focal lengths on an APS-C camera are so alike that I don't need to make this review in the same form factor as we did with the 35mm lens review. So what we decided to do is just capture a lot of dope footage with this lens and while showing it off, I'm just gonna be talking about our experience using it. As simple as that. So, ladies and gentlemen, we present you a non-bullshit review of Sidui 50mm anamorphic lens. Enjoy! Just like the Sidui 35mm lens, this 50mm lens is built like a tank. And from a distance it looks very similar. Both lenses are manual focus, 1.8 aperture lenses with a very satisfying focus and non-clicky aperture rings and both deliver a fantastic looking cinematic image. Pew, pew. <laughs> Now that we got the technical stuff out of the way, yeah, that was pretty fast, wasn't it? Let me blast you with a ton of dope footage we shot with this lens. When we were shooting this little short film, I was actually struggling quite a bit. This was my first time using a 50mm lens on an APS-C camera and it felt very awkward. And what I mean by that is this 50mm focal length didn't feel wide nor close enough for the shots I wanted to get. Thus, I was really struggling with my framing. The first hour of me shooting with this lens was me 90% of the times missing not only the focus but the framing as well and I just didn't feel confident about the shots I got at all. However, after the first hour I quickly got used to it and actually managed to get some decent shots. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see.
after the shoot, we decided to go to the park and compare the Sirui 50mm against the 35mm. I mean, you can tell a difference, but if I were to move a little bit closer to the subject with the 35mm lens, I think it would be very difficult to tell them apart. I probably need to spend a couple of more months using this lens in order to confidently say that I know in which situations I would rather use the 50mm instead of the 35mm lens. But I guess as of now, I am simply not experienced enough to give my opinion on this topic. There was one thing I couldn't get enough of though, and that was the buttery smooth blurry background I was getting with the 50mm lens. It just looks way too creamy and I absolutely love it. When you spend a couple of hours shooting with them both side to side, you really start seeing a difference between them. While both lenses are very sharp, wide open on 1.8 aperture, it does feel like the 50mm is a little bit sharper due to the separation it creates between the background and the subject. The out of focus elements definitely do feel creamier compared to the 35mm lens. I know most people are only testing these lenses for the oval bokeh as well as the flaring. I will show you some of those examples shortly. However, I wanted to test out both of these lenses in daylight because it does create a completely different image out of your camera and I think these anamorphic lenses are so much more than random flares and oval bokeh. Just like I mentioned in our 35mm pseudo anamorphic review, the image has a soul, a completely different atmosphere and vibe to it. And I absolutely love it. But I know most of you came here because you want to see the oval bokeh as well as the flare, so here you go. Let's start talking about the bokeh. The oval bokeh is more pronounced on the Sirui 50mm lens. However, the difference wasn't as big as I expected it to be. But here's the funny thing, the flaring on the 50mm lens is definitely not as pronounced as it is on the Sirui 35mm lens, which honestly is something that I was not expecting. In fact, with the 50mm lens I was getting two or three times less flaring than on the 35mm lens. This Sirui 50mm anamorphic lens will deliver you amazing footage, which will straight up feel like it was taken from a movie or something. Every single time I shoot something with this lens, my mind is blown away by the fact that the image just looks so good and it's one of those things which you can't really explain and that is why we decided to make this video mostly based on footage we've shot with this lens so you can catch the vibe yourself. I still can't believe this lens costs around 600 euros, it's just... A completely different game and we are still planning on shooting a horror short film with just the anamorphic lenses. Despite the lens being manual focus, every friend of mine who has tried at least one of these lenses were shocked how good the image came out of it. They were not expecting to get such fantastic results. What a time to be alive, am I right? In the conclusion, just like in the previous review, you guys have to rent out this lens and test it out for yourself. Whilst the majority of you probably won't be using this lens on a daily basis, I promise that you will have a hell of a good time with it and you won't be disappointed. If you guys want to see more footage shot with this lens or perhaps you want to play with some raw footage, for example color graded or just check out how it looks like or edits like, feel free to send us an email and we'll send you some footage because god damn I already know you'll be having way too much fun with this. Anyway hopefully you guys liked this non-technical kind of a review where we straight up show you tons of dope footage instead of talking random shit behind the desk like most reviewers do honestly. We would really appreciate if you could press the bell icon so you'd be the first one to be notified when we release new content and as always you guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so much for the support over the last couple of videos, stay awesome and you know the drill. Peace out.